Hi everybody, I hope that you are having a wonderful Friday. I wanted to bring you a bit of a recap from this week in Harrisburg and talk a little bit about what might be on the agenda for next year as well. The first thing that I wanna uh, mention is that we had a big vote on the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative in Harrisburg this week. For those of you who aren't familiar, Reggie is a way of controlling pollution that results in revenue coming back to the state, which we can then invest in things. Um, there is a little bit of conflict over this. The governor is the one who's proposing Reggie, um, and it's something that would be really good for the environment. But we want to make sure that the funds that are coming back from it are coming back to communities like ours, which have been impacted by poor environment, and that we're investing too in making sure that workers have clean energy jobs and the training that they need for that in the future. So that was a big vote this week. Um, and then we also had a vote on making broadband internet accessible across Pennsylvania. This, I think, was a really exciting win, uh, particularly for more rural parts of the state, though certainly it'll have impacts locally as well, too. Um, something not so great that happened this week is that the House passed yet another act that will put restrictions on our right to vote. This is something that I have fought against and voted against, and we expect the governor to veto it if it reaches his desk. But essentially, this would put a lot of new restrictions on voting and make it more difficult and less accessible for folks. And from my perspective, we need to make it as easy as possible for people to participate in our democracy. So I was standing very firmly against this. And then the last thing that I want to mention from this week uh, is redistricting. And this is something that is going to carry on into next year as well. But um, obviously we had a census and the census shows us how population changed throughout the state, which means we need to adjust our legislative, so our state level districts and our congressional districts as well to make sure um, that they reflect that those population shifts. There's different processes for our legislative maps for state house and state senate than there are for the congressional ones. But what happened, uh, and I'm gonna paste a little link into the comment section for this as well. Um, but the um, redistricting, we had new maps that were passed um, for the House and the Senate, um, which came out, there's now a 30 day comment period during which adjustments can be made. And then there's 30 days after that um, where people can file various lawsuits related to redistricting if they would like. If you're curious to see how your district might have shifted or changed, I'm going to put a great resource also in the comments that uh, allows you to toggle between the old map and the new map. So if you're a nerd and you want to see how it shifts and changes, you can look at that. Um, my district does change between the two maps. Uh, of course, I'll be sad to lose some places, excited for the opportunity to represent others. But you can take a look at uh, that resource that I put in the comments to see exactly how it shifted or changed. The congressional ones, um, we don't have uh, preliminary maps for that yet. And that's a whole other process that involves the General Assembly and is likely something that will be worked on in January. So of course, I'll keep you all up to date on how that shakes out. There were a bunch of other things, of course, that happened in Harrisburg this week, too, in terms of votes and different hearings and things like that. We had a hearing in health committee. We had two hearings in human services committee. So it's been pretty busy, um, but that's what we would expect as we try to finish up our business for the year. So I hope you all are well. Hope you all are having fantastic holidays. As you can see, I am well decorated and I've done all of my shopping and wrapping and all of those things. I'm working from home today. Um, you know, every week when I come back from Harrisburg, I make sure to get a COVID test and I'm just still waiting on those results to come back. So working from home for now, but hope you all are well. Take care. That's this week's recap.